what's up guys how's it going sorry i've been uh kind of out of it here the last couple of days but uh, you probably picked up on the easter egg and the basically the easter event again the main thing here is you've got your different tiers of rewards the main thing that i thought i'd show you though is yeah you know, kind of like see how you can watch how that egg changes and it just kind of rinse repeats it's just a loop more or less but if you look at here, here's the Easter egg plant. They basically have a new skin that people can acquire. I don't know what you guys think of it, but me personally, it's a little weird. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't necessarily care for that. I mean, you might not remember this, and this is just basically match. Match all the items in here. Match, 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 matchy, match. This is the name of the game. But you've uh, obviously, if you're going to match... You've got to be careful not to get too crazy, because otherwise you will wind up losing. Just no fun. Like that. Right now I don't know where my gear icon is, but I do. We're okay. Now, whenever you get like multiple items like this, the trick to this is just to try and avoid overdoing it like that. If you can help it, I always try to look for a way to basically drill down. And then once you drill down, you're good as gold that's stage three but i mean anyway so that's that's the event as far as that's concerned and that's a lot of fun if you haven't played this it's it's actually a really relatively fun thing to do with marvelous of course right now it's training troops i went ahead and just got what i could the uh, third stage was hero development the second was beast slay and the first was power boost and these are all the drops so i'll just real quickly go over as you can tell and so anyway so then we've got hero gear tomorrow if you're doing essence gear, you know, vice versa, that'll be tomorrow. Then stage six will be gathering resources, and then stage seven will be chief gear. Of course, you know, if you had some stuff saved up, this is not going to be like the most flagrant use of what I would describe as rewards. You know, like it's not as good as some that I've seen. You do get a march skin if you spend your way through this. They've got a bunny with some eggs, which, again, eh, I don't know. Personally, not a big fan, but you can get a lot of your stuff from gathering and defeating beasts and just using speeds as you normally do. Now, you might see the Easter Heim pack. Here, you can grab that for free, but then for $5, you can get the Eggtopia skin, so you could get, like, a little decorative item around it. Of course, there's also the, oh, just like anything, you know, I don't know, I've... If I had to go at any length, I guess, about what's going on, right? You got alliance mobilization, you got a bunch of different things you can do. Of course, you're going to be doing your laboratories every day to get your crystals. But most, if not all of it, really is just... It's practice and basically saving and then turning around using those saved items to basically get your loot. That way you're not stressing too heavily into one or the other. I would say, if anything... And this is just from my experience, right? Is that as you progressively work your way up through the missions and alliance mobilization, you just gather the most amount of points you can. Like Vision of Dawn, you just basically go and hunt monsters. Like this one, I'll just go ahead and send some beasts out. I'll get loot across the board for doing this. So I'll just go ahead and you don't even have to really put a whole lot of thought into that and just let that run auto cycle. That's the nice thing about auto hunting. And you get that if you're wondering how do you acquire that. You just, in order to have it, you actually have to get the VIP. And again, that I think is one of the better packs that you can grab in the game, actually, is just grabbing the Ultra Valley Monthly card. It's the only thing that I, like, pick up every once in a while. It's just candy for that kind of thing. Other than that, I don't know. I mean, even on a good day, given all the different items and loot that's going around. Of course, I'm only, like, 200 mil. Just roughly speaking, out of everyone else in the state, it's kind of an interesting one, really, because we can look at leaderboard and get a kind of a feel for relational power. And I'm only number seven in the entire state. It's like I'm not super big. There's obviously Takeshi being at 1.3 billion, but on the kills, that's the other thing. You know, it's like I'm not far off from the top either, but I haven't been trying to go around and killing him. That's, I mean, the one thing. Yeah, I've got some stuff for gear. I've got that coming up, too. I mean, it's just more stuff we'll have to work on and add. I'm just not getting too crazy with it, you know? Because I, I think a lot of people do. It's just, for me, I'd rather not. Of course, we can go ahead and do this, too. We'll multitask. 
go ahead and do our intel missions and get the extra added um you know if anything you, you always want to make sure you're grabbing fire crystals at every opportunity you get because you're not gonna find yourself getting these very easily uh over time in fact i think it gets worse it can in magnitude it's more worse than people really anticipate I mean, but with everything really rewarding beasts right now this is probably the best time to make use of it i mean of course you can get rainbow paint but this is if anything i'm going to be just driving that home trying to get all the fire crystals that i can because that's where you're going to get a lot of your loot i don't know see most of these are within reason of course this one here is going to be going to require us to spend in order to acquire it of course but that rallies which we can do Go ahead and grab these. Looks like we got a couple more beasts we can go hunt. So I'll go ahead and grab those. Plus we got an epic, so we'll have to grab that too. But anyway, I mean, that's kind of the gist though, as far as like, I mean, I'm not even at Furnace 5 yet and it's, there's still so much to do and so little time to have it all done that it's, it can be kind of mind boggling. I mean, of course I haven't done exploration in a while either. Of course I need to probably grab my chests. I'm sure there are people here that are like, you know, they probably see all these freaking icons and they're thinking, oh my god, why can he stand not clicking on those? And it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's just so much that has to be done. So much. But, you know, overall, right, if, if anything, when you look at Vision of Dawn, you can see that, like, most of this is gathering doing epic recruitments and stuff. And this is all going back to like how I was explaining earlier. You want to make sure you're saving your keys because this is an excellent example of where like I can pop 20 keys now and I'm going to get some extra items of which I'll probably never use, right? But then I'll have successfully completed some of the extra bonuses that I get within these missions. Like I know Colorful Estate wanted me to do, I think... Oh, I need to do like seven more. So we'll just do a couple more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Again, not trying to overdo it, right? I mean, you don't want to just waste them just because you can. But like there, there we go. Now we got some extra loot. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's really about all there is to it, really, is just working your way through these to get all the extra loot. Of course, then we can go ahead and paint the egg. And if you ever hold your thumb on this, you can uh, just do it a lot faster. Like, you want to save yourself some time. You don't have to just, like, tap it once or several times in a row. You could just hold your thumb, and it'll go a lot faster. Which, honestly, is probably the best idea since ever. Now, you might have noticed the emote. The emote's kind of weird, but that's what the new emote looks like. And, yeah, I mean, more or less, that's, that's pretty much the Easter event, and... I guess if you guys want my single-handedly best tip for this event, I think you're just going to have to basically hunt monsters quite a bit. Obviously spend a little bit if you want to get some of the extra added bonuses. But overall, I, I, I would rate this total event as kind of a eh. Like, it's not as good as, like, the October event was or in January when we had New Year's. But, you know, again, it's Easter. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.